Hello and welcome. This is just a video <laughs> to talk a bit about what I find fascinating when it comes to homophobic bigots. Because I started looking things up after seeing a number of cases of said bigots turning out to have some homos homosexual tendencies. And I, I really got to thinking. Throughout history, homosexuality has existed. Greeks are well known to have both straight and homosexual relationships. They were often bi. Um... The Spartans, the military powerhouse of Greece, ancient Greece, often had sexual relationships between men because they felt it made the bond stronger between each other as soldiers. Alexander the Great There are long been rumors that he was more than likely by Hercules I don't know if there was any particular rumors of him uh, having homosexual relationships but he would often cry and be in uh, extreme grief when he loses a friend on the quest for the golden fleece he disappears part way through the journey when his uh, shield bearer disappears and out of grief and pain he goes out trying to find him and isn't in the rest of the journey. But yeah, I mean, it's all over. Yeah noted in places in Greek history. There are other cultures where homosexual relationships have happened. So, it's not like it's a brand new thing. So, yeah. We know homosexuality in and of itself has been around for a long, long time. 
So it's not like it's a quirk, a rarity. Now, just giving a few examples there of, you know, homosexuality in history. Some of the greatest minds in history had tendencies toward homosexuality. Alan Turing. the inventor of the Turing test. Um, the great Harvey Milk. Politician who made great strides forward. Even many of the great entertainers often had to hide their homosexuality. Rock Hudson. He was seen as such an idol of male masculinity. But a lot, a lot of the information came out after it found out, oh, he had AIDS. And again, I'm just, I'm bringing out some of these examples. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video As I mentioned at the beginning, you see so many homophobic bigots that end up displaying traits of homosexuality. And it's something we see more and more of. I'm a family of values politician. He's a great preacher. But, yeah, turns out they had some of the same traits. And often, they'll hurt others who are homosexual just because they don't want to admit to themselves they're homosexual or have homosexual traits. There have been studies done that much of the hate and bigotry that springs forth in a homophobia often springs from tendencies of self-hate of potential homosexuality. Because there is such a push on I'm as male straight as you can get Yeah.
But you look online. There are studies over and over and over that seem to show the same view. that a lot of homophobia springs from a tendency to have homosexual ideations. And yeah, I, it, I just find it hilarious that these chicken shits are so scared of being or thought of or potentially even thought of as being homosexual they'll hurt others it's like guys <sighs> seriously I don't know if you've all seen the I think it's better help commercial but the guys lifting weights and uh, he has the weight, the, the, the barbell stuck on his chest and the guy walks up to him and says, it's okay to ask for help. And the guy's like, you don't know what it's like. Uh, the, machi uh, the, the feeling of, uh, of being unable to ask for help as a man. You know, you don't know my family, what it's like. And it often makes me think of people who struggle with their sexuality. So it's like, okay. And look, some men are going to struggle, say, look, I, I, I have no interest in them in being gay whatsoever. That's fine. But it doesn't mean attacking them and their way of life is fine. You know, the best thing we can do is treat people like people. But unfortunately, there are those who are so scared of being identified a certain way, who are so brainwashed into ideologies. that they'll do severe things to not be seen a certain way. But, if you are homosexual, if you have some homosexual tendencies, that's okay. As long as you're a good person. That's all that matters. Period. I mean, I don't know really what else needs to be said. But, we'll go ahead and end this here. As always, educate thyself, think, 
Read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I will be putting some links in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.